located off the coast of Tofino, British Columbia, Canada, this remote house was built by a married couple, Wayne Adams and Catherine King. They lived here for more than 31 years until one of them died. This Freedom Cove was built as a symbol of their desire to live together independently and sustainably in the embrace of nature. Built since the year 1992, Freedom Cove has grown into a complex that includes various facilities ranging from residential houses, vegetable gardens to a small animal park. Freedom Cove is not just a floating house, behind it lies a love story, an adventure of two artists who choose to live far from the hustle and bustle of the city. Catherine King, a dancer from Toronto and Wayne Adams, a sculptor, found spiritual peace in the remote Tofino Bay. The desire to be close to nature and away from the hustle and bustle of the city led them to build their own floating house. Started building using used materials they had collected over the years from wooden planks to discarded fishing equipment. They built their floating home with full dedication. During their life journey in Freedom Cove Catherine and Wayne faced various challenges ranging from storms to fires. But they remained strong and rebuilt their house whenever there was damage, but in March of the year 2023 Wayne Adams died after battling cancer for eight years. Catherine King must now continue her life alone in Freedom Co. facing loneliness and new challenges without her husband Wayne Adams. That's the true love story of a husband and wife who live in a remote floating house. If you are interested in this video, watch it until the end. Thank you.